Ladies and gents, welcome back to The Random. It's your host, Smallwood Worldwide. We are back again with another video. And today, we're going to take a quick look at my iPad Pro workflow with the M1 iPad Pro and the Apple Studio display. Now, we've done this before. Um, I think it's about time to give it a quick update here with iPad OS 17.3. As you can see, my Magic Keyboard, this once again is the M1 iPad Pro, the Apple Studio display and all this gorgeousness. Let's go ahead and dive into this, right? So let's swipe out. Now, right off the rip, one of the things I wanna show you is on the studio display, while it's connected to the iPad Pro, multitasking, stage manager, right? I love it, nice and easy. Let's take Safari, I can move it around wherever I want it to go. As you notice, it no longer snaps into place. I think that's fabulous, right? Now, let's go ahead and take this. If you don't know, now you know, this is Final Cut Pro, okay? And Final Cut Pro is really nice. Apple's doing some great things with it. I love the way they're growing it. So if I want it to dominate the screen, we can do that. I can also still kind of come up here and go back to the web page. So if I wanted to do some research on something, we can do that as well, right? But in this case, I just want to show off a bit of the multitasking. And I love the ability to kind of resize it, right? And just make it do what it needs to. Let's go here, move that. If I wanted to add a little bit of social media here, right? Twitter, you know, I know some folks call it X. I'm going to call it Twitter because that's what I've known it to be. Um, now I'll move the iPad out the way. You get a chance to see it. It's right there. And once again, any application, you can kind of move it, do what you need to do with it. I can kind of scroll it up here. If you don't know, now you know. NBA going on, NFL, we got a whole lot happening. Shout out to the Lakers against the Trailblazers. They need a win tonight. We'll move this over to the side. There we go. See how easy that is in real time? Move it back. And voila, take it, move it to the side. What? Slip of the finger here on the Magic Keyboard. There we are. Now, let's go ahead and bring the iPad Pro back into play, right? If I want to, swipe down. You get Control Center. As you know, we'll go right here and we will click on Stage Manager. Now, with Stage Manager Live, let's just say I want to go ahead and go into Duolingo. All right? Now, I bring up my Duolingo. Yup. Finishing 12th place here in the Obsidian League. I'm not mad at it, but we'll figure out a way to get things going here. They let you know, join this week's lessons if I wanted to. I can go back to diving into my French or any other language I'm learning at this time, which let's take a look. French, German, and Spanish. Gotta love it. They even added an option for a fourth course. So shout out to Duolingo, a killer app if you don't have it. Um, these are my languages little folder. Let's go ahead and dive out of there. If I wanted to do some calendar management, I can do that as well, right? Notice what's happening over here. Stage manager events. You see how that works? And the thing that I've always liked about stage manager on the iPad Pro is that what I noticed that Apple showed us from the beginning is exactly how it's designed to work. Now, we both know there's a way to do side-by-side -side app integration, but my favorite thing is to make sure that the way that I'm working at that moment serves me best. So in this case, if I want two apps to just kind of dawdle around with real quick and kind of get in and out, I'll do this. I don't need a true split screen. However, stage manager itself, I can kind of go back and forth there and it works. I can also go over here and let's type in one of Apple's apps, right? So let's say I want to bring up maps, right? Maps is pretty cool. Let's go here, go to dinner NYC. Let's click on catch. Let's take a look here. Go to the 3D version of the map. Pretty nice, right? Literally anything you need to do, the M1 iPad Pro, when paired with any monitor, but most notably the Apple Studio display, it'll transform your workspace here any way that you need. Let's go ahead and open up Apple Music here. Let's go ahead and move around. Let's go back to listen now. I'm going to take the edit here and move it. To the side now final cut pro twitter we're going to take apple music move it right here okay and let's go ahead and take safari if i can get a grasp on it here this is what happens when we're working live i love it and we're going to take that and move it down i think that's pretty cool and now i have more of a split screen so now you can kind of listen to your favorite song okay and you can come over here and do whatever it is that you need to do so in this case Let's say we're going to go to IGN, right, and learn a little bit of something. Not too bad. Who's going to be there in terms of the Oscars, all of that sort of thing. But most notably, 
I want to learn about the new Daredevil that's going on. So let's go there. Daredevil. Born again. There we are. Slated to start shooting again this week. Kind of get a chance to see who all is in there. What's happening. First episode right now looking at 2025, which is great. Now, not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and go out of there. Let's say we want to pull up another app, right? So, an app library, not script rehearser. We want to get into one of our writing apps here. Let's just go ahead and scroll down. You know, when you're live, you're like, wait, my brain is flaking. What am I looking at? Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> but <laughs> as we go ahead and do this, I want to take the time here to go back and look at this other app, right? Apple Books. Now, again, another underrated feature. Kind of, again, take it, move it around, listen to a book. Guess what? While you're either editing video, while you're browsing social media, right? So if I just want to have a little bit of downtime here, I can get a chance to do that. Click in here to the game, see the score. See my Lakers are up by 13, which means absolutely nothing with them this year. But it's pretty phenomenal. Get a little bit of highlights there. Nice and easy. Meanwhile, back here on the iPad Pro, we're down at MSG seeing what's going on, right? Again, we clicked on the restaurant. You get your hours and everything. Got what you need to do. You get in, get out. Easy come, easy go, right? Now, what we'll do is take this, move it down. We're going to scroll back, turn off stage manager, swipe up from the bottom, swipe up from the bottom. Now, we're just going to kind of scroll along here on the timeline. See a bit of game, see a few different things there, but most notably, we want to go in here to our film session, right? And what we're going to do is go to Final Draft Mobile. So now we want to go ahead and click in, click into a multi-sitcom thing. We'll just hit accept. If you notice these three dots here, one of the things we're going to do, I'm going to click here, click on that, move it to this display. Because again, why not do this, right? You have a big, beautiful display. Let's go ahead here and kind of get things locked in. Motion. We're going to show both of these. As you see, this is a beautiful workflow. More importantly, it's nice and smooth. Get a chance to explore my options there. Let's go here. Right. Click on. We'll open that up. While we're opening that up, guess what we're going to do? Take a look at this script. Not too shabby. Now, down here. I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve, shout out to NBA app keeping me plugged in. DaVinci Resolve is acting right here on the actual iPad Pro. It has given me some trouble historically up here on the studio display. It's very temperamental. You know, you never know what it's going to do and when it's going to decide to do it. But DaVinci Resolve still the best in the business. So if I want to, we can go down again, turn on stage manager. Now, look at that. See how beautiful that looks? Let me float this up for you real quick. You see stage manager at play there, so it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I can go up here again, make edits to the script, do anything else that I want to do, you know. Um, if I want to change that to neighbor number two, we could do that, right? And voila. Listen, Apple Studio Display, iPad Pro. I am looking forward to the M3 iPad Pro. And just so you folks know, just so you know, all right, let's go ahead here. Let's click here. Let's get out of there. Let's go here. We're going to go to apple.com because I want to put you in up to something here, right? Guess what? Apple Vision Pro, February 2nd. We will have it here in studio. We will be doing an unboxing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we look forward to diving into the Apple Vision Pro and of course, spatial computing. You know, you got to pay to play. I'm always in a precipice of what's next. I couldn't be more excited to get my hands on this. And when we bought it, we bought it with using it in mind, okay? You have to pay to play. And there's no quick and dirty reviews on this, all right? This is going to be something that's going to take time. So please, once again, subscribe to the channel. We look forward to diving in on that. As far as this video goes, and as it pertains to our ability to go ahead and multitask and utilize M1 iPad Pro, Apple Studio Display. This is our iPad Pro workflow, okay? It's very seamless. It's very touch and go. You make it do what it needs to do for you, the same way I do for me. 
with that note, hit us up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you utilizing that iPad Pro on a daily basis? I can tell you for me, I'm not going to dive into emails and things like that right now, but the iPad Pro since 2015 has replaced my laptop. Um, we'll get into that on another video here, but what I will say is you can't go wrong with the M2, but if you're like me, hold out a little bit longer. The M3 is on its way. Ladies and gents, we'll talk to you again sooner than you think on a new edition of The Random. Peace.